welcome to week 15 of our virtual music lesson. The last couple of weeks we've been talking about instrument families. We've talked about the string family, the woodwind family, and the brass family. This week we're going to talk about the percussion family. Can you think of any instruments that belong in the percussion family? I'm going to give you a hint. We've talked about it before, but percussion instruments are instruments that you hit, shake, or scrape to play. Say hit, shake, or scrape. Say that, hit, shake, or scrape. Very good. So can you think of any instruments that you hit, shake, or scrape to play? I'll give you an example. A drum is a percussion instrument because you hit it. Today we're going to look at many percussion instruments. So let's start. The first percussion instrument we're going to learn about today is the timpani. Here's what it looks like. Some people say the timpani is the pulse of the orchestra. These instruments can also be called kettle drums. The bottoms of the timpani are large, deep bowls that are made of copper. Stretched across the top is a drum head that is made of calf skin or thin plastic. When you play the timpani, you have to use drumsticks. You have to hit them very hard, they're super big. The next instruments we're gonna talk about are the bass drum and the snare drum. The bass drum is the larger drum and the snare drum is the smaller drum. The bass drum has a very low and deep tone while the snare drum is shaped like a cylinder and it's also known as a side drum. The snare drum has a set of wires strung across the bottom and that's what produces the rattling sound. These wires are the snare. You've likely seen these in marching bands or even drum lines. Next, we're gonna talk about xylophones and marimbas, and these are some of Miss Livingston's favorites. The marimba is the piano of the percussion section. It has a bright, dry, and hard sound. Xylophones have wooden bars that are each tuned differently, and these bars are arranged like keys on a piano. In order to play the xylophone or marimba, you must hit the bars with a mallet. Now, marimbas are really big and oftentimes they have wheels on them so you can roll them in and out of a room, whereas xylophones are much smaller. You might even have a xylophone at home and you don't even realize it. Fisher Price makes a lot of little xylophones for kids and if you take a look around your house, you might find one. You'll notice that all of the bars are different sizes and starting from one side to the other, the bars are bigger and then they get smaller. This helps the pitch change. The bigger the bar, the lower the sound. The smaller the bar, the higher the sound. So go check and see if you have one around your house. Next, we're gonna talk about the cymbals. Here's what they look like. Cymbals are big metal discs that are the same shape and size. They're made of thin pieces of brass. Depending on the size, they can be really heavy. In order to play these, you must crash the two of them together. This is often used in the orchestra cre to create a surprise, and sometimes it can startle people, but I think it's super fun. Next, we're gonna talk about the triangle. Here it is. Triangles have been used for a long time. It's a steel rod that's bent into the form of a triangle, and it has one corner that stays open. If you're gonna play it, you must strike the triangle with another metal bar, and this is called a beater. Triangles can come in different sizes from four inches to 10 inches on each side. Now you have to be careful that when you're playing the triangle that you don't touch the steel, because if you do, the triangle won't be able to vibrate and that's what creates its beautiful sound. The last instrument we're gonna talk about today is tubular bells. The tubular bells are metal tubes and they are all different lengths. These tubes are hung from a large frame and you, you strike them with a beater that looks kind of like a hammer. This instrument usually has 18 tubes and sounds like church bells. When someone plays the tubular bells, they hit the very top of the tubes and this is what produces the sound. There's also a pedal at the bottom of the tubular bells and it, this instrument also has wheels on it because it's very heavy, those tubes the piping, it's very, very heavy. Tubular bells are often used to imitate the sound of church bells. You've probably heard them before. 
So be listening in the example videos because you're gonna see somebody playing them and striking the bells with that hammer and you'll get to see what they sound like. Boys and girls, there are many percussion instruments. We could keep on talking about them. So we're not gonna be able to talk about all of them, but I would challenge you to go and look up more percussion instruments and see what you can find. I hope you have enjoyed learning about instrument families. Today wraps up our unit on them. Just to review, we've talked about the string family, the woodwind family, the brass family, and today we learned about the percussion family. I'm excited to see you next week because we are going to do a fun holiday lesson. Bye boys and girls, I'll see you next time.